Mm, your baby girl. Hey, baby. You like this weather? <laughs> you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi. Say hi. No, you'll make a camera out of your face, huh? You go back to being a good little girl. Hey everyone, welcome back to From the Road with Robert, back with another video. Anyway, I just wanted to drop in and make a quick video. It had been a couple of weeks and I don't want to leave you guys hanging and there's been quite an update on my channel and I wanted to say hi to everybody. Anyway, uh, go ahead and stay tuned and I'll be right back. Well, hey guys, it's Robert here coming to you from a... I wouldn't quite say it was winter yet, but maybe a fall, cold, wintery fall day, if that makes any sense. It's raining a bunch, and you might be able to hear it on the roof. It's really loud on this roof when it rains, and probably because I'm parked under a tree um, has part of the reason to it, I'm guessing. Anyway, I'm all nice and cozy inside. I am on hookups. I got my fireplace roaring here my heater in the bathroom and then failing that I have my diesel heater too which runs great so yeah I'm nice and cozy and I'm kind of enjoying this it's one of those kind of days where I'm cozied up inside um <clears throat> fortunately I still do have to work today so I am working right now but I am on my lunch so I wanted to drop in and make a video because over the past couple of days I've noticed that my uh, subscription count on my channel had increased significantly and I discovered that I made an interview video last year with Bob Wells over at Cheap RV Living and he posted that video. So I want to thank you to everybody that came over from that video and hit that subscribe button. You don't know how much that means to me. I really, really appreciate that. Um, of course, now I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that last count when I last checked it it was like 1100 how 1100 people could be watching me babble on but uh yeah I guess uh people like this kind of stuff so I'm just gonna keep putting it out there um for those of you who asked comments uh or put comments in the comment section I do still need to go through and answer a bunch of you guys I haven't forgotten I just haven't had the chance to do that and I want to make sure that I give you guys all the answers that you're wanting there is more videos coming um i had some questions about the starlink stuff although i'm not using it right now i and i have changed the method of how i do that so i really need to redo that whole thing i found a new product out there which means you don't need to cut into any cables which uh, is going to be great but we will go over that in a future video there's a couple of other things i'm gonna take you guys outside i got something on the back of my rv to show you um maybe once the rain lets up that's the magic of video we can fast forward on that so when it's not raining so much i can take you guys outside anyway and for those of you and i try to catch her on the intro you want it to see dos the kitty here she is hi, hi baby everybody wanted to see you <laughs> this is dos everybody she is a russian blue she's really old 13, 14 maybe, and she's got a little bell around her neck, and then she's got this little bow tie, if we could actually see it, but yeah, she's got a bow tie right here, so cute. Anyway, she's very vocal, um, and she loves attention and love. Anyway, that's uh, her FaceTime, I don't think she likes being on the camera too much, she gets all silent and puts her head down whenever I put the camera in her face. Anyway, I will see you guys in a moment through the magic of video, and we'll go take a look outside. Well guys, I'm outside. The rain never did stop, so I just got impatient and was like, we'll just get wet for a minute. That's okay. iPhones are pretty waterproof, right? Um, water resistant. Anyway. This is where I'm at. Looks better, of course, when it's not so cloudy and rainy, but nonetheless, it's uh, it's pretty beautiful here. But 
For those of you that don't know, I have a companion or a friend here. His name is Kevin. Um, and he's right next to me here. He joined me up in Washington from Texas and brought his trailer up. His truck is under this awning because he's having a few issues with his back window leaking on this thing. So if we set up this gazebo that he can park it under for now until he can make the necessary repairs. Would you believe me if I told you that a window on this thing to replace it is like a thousand bucks just for that back window? It's crazy. So I guess it's got something to do with all the electronics. Anyway, um, this is my setup as you guys know. I got, this was a recent addition is the blue car. Still waiting to get the flat toe system that I want to get to hook this up. Um, but yeah, and then the newest addition um, is this thing right here. That is a 5G, 4G outdoor gateway antenna radio. Um, and what that essentially does is it's like having your your indoor modem with like your services through uh t-mobile and verizon at&t whatever it may be and you put your sim cards inside of it it's dual sim capable and then that will connect up to your cell towers and get you really good signal but the whole unit's outside and it's powered through the cable that runs to it so it's a cleaner setup than having to run any other kind of external antenna anyway i'm gonna make a deeper video on that so i'm not gonna get into it too much but that is probably going to be the next video don't quote me on that but once i there's a few kinks and bugs i'm working out with the manufacturer right now but as soon as i do that is i think is going to be our next our next one anyway <laughs> i yeah, again, I just want to say thank you to everybody who uh, has joined me over here. Um, I try to put out content when I can. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a bit more stationary right now during the season, and that's okay. I've fallen in love with the beauty of the Pacific Northwest. Um, and, you know, I'm still going to be taking trips, and I still want to hit the road again. But for now, this is where I'm at. And especially until I, you know, get the car hooked up and everything. Um, we don't want to be leaving that behind. Um, so, but I'm still going to be making videos. I'm still a nomad. Um, I'm just a nomad in one place temporarily. Um, and then we will be making adventures still and going places. And I'm even considering even doing a little bit of car camping. I'm not sure yet, but I'm considering that. But, uh... Yep, this is my my home on wheels. Um, you guys, obviously, if you saw that tour video, you seen it. Um, I haven't really made a recent tour. Um, the one last one I made was a while ago. Um, you know, since I've done the additions, but we'll take a walk back inside. I'll take a quick walk through. Um, and oh yeah, we're facing each other too. They let us do that, which is kind of cool. It creates this nice this nice outdoor area between us um anyway we'll go back inside we'll show you guys around and uh just a just a brief brief look not an official tour but uh yeah anyway hey dos yeah i'm back with that camera you don't like huh you cleaning yourself on my couch anyway this is my newest addition. This is a sofa. This does fall back down into a bed. Um, and I have this little table that I got. This was like one of the best purchases I ever made because I can put my laptop on it. I can put my plate, cup, and whatever I want to put on that thing. And it folds down and moves. And it's really cool. It's like a, I don't know, souped up TV tray, I guess. Um, and I'm just going to take my shoes off real quick. This is the front driving section. Not a lot going on up front there. Uh, Doss likes to peek up through the curtains in the front. Um, and then I do have my TV right here, my fireplace, 
yes to the person who commented that is a desktop computer that is not a Sun Microsystems. I have replaced it before that it was an HP. Um, my other hobby is flight simulation stuff. So that's why I have the desktop set up and I just hook it to the TV and it's freaking awesome. Anyway, um, this is the kitchen. Full stove, a lot of counter space. Microwave, cabinets, refrigerator. Um, let me walk back here and get a better view of the living room for you. There you go. And then if I come back here, there's the bathroom. Hey guys, full, full shower. Pretty decent. Nice fancy sink that was already here when I got it. I replaced the faucet. And then obviously the toilet. And I do use that. It's not a big deal to me. I've been doing RV stuff for a while, so I don't mind the black tank as much. And then the bedroom, which is also the laundry room. There's my dryer. So who was I put out the window when I wanna wanna dry? I covered that in a previous video, so if you haven't checked it out, go back and check it out. Um, it does really well. It's a 110 volt dryer and this is my washing machine right here um, And I have that plumbed in under the kitchen sink and then I just have it going down into the bear Where the gray and the black is and that's where it drains Anyway, that was just a very rough Tour. Yeah, this thing has a lot of storage in it as you can tell um, this video was not meant to be a tour video, but just for the new guys that haven't seen, seen it in a while, this is what I've done with the place. Anyway. Oh. That's really all I have for this video. Uh, if you're not subscribed already and you're a new person just checking me out for the first time, go ahead and consider subscribing. Um, really appreciate it. Smash that thumbs up button. And I'm not sure when my next video will be, but within the next week or two here, I'll get something together and I'll be back with you guys. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace out.